I do believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. After Martha said this, she went back and called her sister Mary privately. The teacher is here and is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up and hurried out to meet him. Jesus had not yet arrived in the village, but was still in the place where Martha had met him. The people who were in the house with Mary, comforting her, followed her when they saw her get up and hurry out. They thought that she was going to the grave to weep there. Mary arrived where Jesus was, and as soon as she saw him, she fell at his feet. brother would not have died. Jesus saw her weeping, and he saw how the people with her were weeping also. His heart was touched, and he was deeply moved. Where have you buried him? Come and see, Lord. Jesus wept. See how much he loved him, the people said. But some of them said, He gave sight to the blind man, didn't he? Could he not have kept Lazarus from dying? Deeply moved once more, Jesus went to the tomb, which was a cave with a stone placed at the entrance. Take the stone away. There will be a bad smell, Lord. He has been buried four days. Didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? took the stone away. Jesus looked up. I thank you, Father, that you listen to me. I know that you always listen to me. But I say this for the sake of the people here so that they will believe that you sent me. After he had said this, he called out in a loud voice, Lazarus! Come out! people who had come to visit Mary saw what Jesus did and they believed in him. But some of them returned to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the Pharisees and the chief priests met with the council and said, 
What shall we do? Look at all the miracles this man is performing. If we let him go on in this way, everyone will believe in him. The Roman authorities will take action and destroy our temple and our nation. One of them, named Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said, What fools you are! Don't you realize that it is better for you to have let one man die for the people instead of having the whole nation destroyed? Actually, he did not say this of his own accord. Rather, as he was high priest that year, he was prophesying that Jesus was going to die for the Jewish people, and not only for them, but also to bring together into one body all the scattered people of God. From that day on, the Jewish authorities made plans to kill Jesus. So Jesus did not travel openly in Judea, but left and went to a place near the desert to a town named Ephraim, where he stayed with his disciples. The time for the Passover festival was near, and many people went up from the country to Jerusalem to perform the ritual of purification before the festival. They were looking for Jesus, and as they gathered in the temple, they asked one another, What do you think? Surely he will not come to the festival, will he? The chief priests and the Pharisees had given orders that if anyone knew where Jesus was, he must report it, so that they could arrest him. Six days before the Passover, Jesus went to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, the man he had raised from death. They prepared a dinner for him there, which Martha helped serve. Lazarus was one of those who were sitting at the table with Jesus. Then Mary took a whole pint of a very expensive perfume made of pure nard. poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. The sweet smell of the perfume filled the whole house. One of Jesus' disciples, Judas Iscariot, the one who was going to betray him, said, Why wasn't this perfume sold? For three hundred silver coins. And the money given to the poor. He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He carried the money bag and would help himself from it. Leave her alone. Let her keep what she has for the day of my burial. 